Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pam Weathers. We're going to continue on with the uh, Paramoil Signal Box build now. Um, obviously we've seen it up until this point where I've made up the main frame and the roof structure. And now, obviously I've been in discussion with uh, Justin at uh, Scale Model Scenery. Give him a little shout out there. Nice chap to deal with. He's made up my windows. I uh, had a few ideas about how to do it, but I thought the time was going to take me to make them. Um, it would be nice if we could have the laser cut items. And here's one that uh, has been already glued up. These are um, 22mm by 18mm, I think it is, yeah. So I had some with the nine panes in each sash and I also had some with uh, 12 panes in each sash, slightly bigger ones. So what we're going to do is clad this and I picked up some Will's um, clapboard which uh, was what the uh, signal box was actually boarded. So I've done the first panel and set the first two windows in just to give an idea so obviously we've posed one of the windows actually open there's a photograph showing the uh, signal box of the window open and the signalman stood in the window so I thought well, we might uh, try and replicate that so obviously I've cut out the apertures for these uh, windows these are just push fit in there at the minute my idea is to get all the apertures cut Put it all together, spray it and then fit the windows afterwards so they should just be able to push them in and uh, glue them in place from behind. And I've got them as quite a quite a tight fit there so I've spent a little bit of time setting them in. And what I've also done, I've mitred the corners so that when it actually goes on the building hopefully we can get a pretty good finish on the corners. But Hopefully I'll just give you an idea with that bit of boarding on. And obviously this is just one mil plastic card, so I intend to stick that clapboard to that. So that's where we're at at the moment. So I thought we'll just have a have a quick look. Let's see what you think. And uh, we'll be a, as work proceeds. I shall give you a few more shots. Hopefully I'll give you a shot next of the um, all the wall panels fitted. And then what I'll probably do is just show you, this is how the, uh, the windows come. And they're built up in um, three sections. So you stick one on top of the other. And I've got some rocket card glue just to stick those together. And then hopefully we'll put... Um, some clear perspex on the back of it and I've got some glue and glaze so uh, allegedly for making crystal clear windows and bonding canopies and most plastic so it'll be interesting to see what that's like that could be quite handy but uh, like I say that's where we're at at the moment so I've got uh, a Sunday evening free so I'll see what I can do might see you again later or if not we'll see you tomorrow Evening all, um, got uh, this signal blocks clad with the uh, clapboard last night. So I managed to fit all the panels around. I used the wheels clapboard, which I think has given them a great definition. You can see the uh, joints in the boards um, works quite well. The lower panel there I done with plastic card, but it just doesn't look as good. But uh, I think the wheels is in smaller sheets, but works out at a comparative rate to the plastic card, and I think a lot better definition. So that's clad. It's had a coat of primer, so I'm going to give that a coat of uh, cream paint in a minute. I've been also playing around with. Uh, Justin from Model Rail Scenery cut me some um, 
name boards for it. So we got Paramwell signal box. He done this in laser board, but he did say it might be awkward to paint. So I've just had a quick practice on one of the other ones he done. And it hasn't come out too bad. Basically I sprayed it with uh, black paint and then I had a cotton bud and just dipped in some white paint and very lightly went over the lettering and I mean this was it literally took probably about 20 seconds to paint the white in and it's gone fairly well as a first attempt but he is he's sent me today where he's cut these out of a, a plastic board with a white laminate on the top so which has basically given the black background and the white lettering so they should arrive tomorrow and there's going to be a new product that he's going to be um, selling so uh, we'll have a look at that tomorrow but what I'm going to do now I'm going to hopefully stick together cut these out and uh, stick the signal box uh, windows together like I say that's who's made them scale model scenery um, go and have a look got some brilliant products I, I bought quite a few other bits which is going to work in on to Paramore station but uh, yeah same bloke to deal with pleasure anyway we'll have a look back when I stick some of these together and we'll see you in a while hi right, evening all got the uh, signal box windows fitted so uh, they've gone in uh, quite well got a door fitted and like I say all the uh, windows are in a little bit fiddly to put together but I've never uh, done them before but uh, had a bit of um, I think off the wheels plastic card out a sheet of uh, the packing and actually glazed the backs of the windows so uh, obviously we've got the pose one there open so I can put the signal man looking out the window but yeah should look quite smart um, probably gonna go on and uh, sort out I've made up the roof panel that fits in so uh, I've just really got to slate that now should look quite good and then I'm going to make a staircase up to land down on the platform so that's going to be the next job so uh, probably once we get it slated we'll uh, come back and have a look we'll see you soon evening everyone I got the uh, roof uh, slated I used um, one of uh, Justin's uh, downloads and printed off which was uh, the CADR TX1500 and model railway scenery I use the uh, slate effect paper if I can turn it around and we've stuck that to the, the roof on the little porch as well um, and this evening I've made up uh, this staircase made it out of uh, I had some two mil plastic card and actually cut some stair strings and then I had some uh, I think it was just under one mil thick uh, by three mil to make the uh, treads going up through I don't know if I can get in a little bit closer on that and I did those um, I just set them in by a heart, uh, eye and uh, use the um, plastic magic to stick those together quite uh, quite fiddly I think it took about an hour and a half to make that little staircase up I did actually buy uh, some pre-made staircases but uh, they weren't weren't wide enough it was about four mil short on the width so I thought the only thing to do would be to make them up they uh, they're literally just wedged there in place at the minute I haven't fixed them yet but uh, you know I'm quite pleased the first one I I got about halfway through it and I wasn't very happy 
Now I did actually find that like the super glues don't really stick that plastic hard uh, very well at all. It takes ages for it to go off. And even with the activator, it was like it was loose and then it was solid. There wasn't no uh, room for adjustment, so that plastic magic seemed to work a lot better. The handrails I cheated, I did actually buy those, I did think about uh, making them but uh, when I bought the stairs I thought I'd pick those up at the same time and luckily they've worked in just the right length so so the plan now really uh, I had hoped to have showed you uh, the parallel signal box sign the uh, Mark II's but uh, they've got lost in the post and uh, Justin's doing me another set and sending down so that'll probably be next time that we see that but uh, it's starting to really come together now um, when I went to the Taunton model show the um, chat from seven models I don't know if uh, you've come across this uh, these people they make etched brass kits and as you know when I do a signal box I like to do the internal detail so all the levers and this is a brass etch I'll just see if I can pop it out so you can have a look so what that is let's turn it that way Along the bottom you've got all the signal levers, um, there's uh, a desk, a chair, uh, a wood burner or wood burning stove, notice board and even a level crossing wheel but uh, obviously this will be the third different uh, signal box detail kit that I've done so obviously once I get uh, Get the sign on a little bit of filling around a couple of the windows to some barge boards to put on there and then weather it down a bit uh, once i've got that done i shall probably um get on and detail the inside and hopefully we'll have our little man looking out the window so or signal man i should say so i'm gonna leave it to that i'll just pop it on the uh, Paramwell Station and you can have a hopefully an ending shot of it in place. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as I say, bye for now.